So there's business analysts, there's product owner, there's product designer, there is scrum master. There's just so much things in this space. So where is your business analyst career going? So we're talking today about where your business analyst career is going. What's the next level? What's next for you? Are you going to be stuck doing what you do and making the money that you make, doing the things that you probably like doing, but how do you get to the next level? And what is the next level? How do you capitalize on what you already know to make more money and to be challenged more? What is that? What does that look like? Okay. That's what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. But before we talk about that, I want to reintroduce you to uh, Mr. Peeps. <laughs> this is Mr. Peeps, y'all. You met him before in, I think, April when I did a video. And then you never saw him again because I did videos outside and all kinds of stuff. But here he is. And he's going to be helping me in my video today and in other videos going forward. So... Get comfortable, Mr. Peeps. I'm going to need you to help me out, okay? All right. So let's talk about your career. The reason why I want to have this conversation with you is because we always have to be looking for what's next, right? Um, there's people that next is like the next year. Some people like next two years, five years, whatever that next time is for you. However long you want to get your feet well soaked in what you're doing before you move on to something else, that's fine. But you have to always have that next step and that next level in your mind. And so as I'm looking through the business analyst career, I'm noticing something that's happening. There are a number of other roles that kind of encroach on what we do. And some of the things that we're doing is encroaching on what some of these other roles do. So <laughs> you look at it and you're like, wow, every company is calling what we do slightly something slightly different um sometimes it's a whole different job title but the same actions the same activities that they're doing and i don't think it can continue for much longer i think we're going to carve out a name for what we do right now we're using business analysts but it doesn't ha always have to be that it could change um and so we just have to be fluid we just have to be fluid we have to know what's going on in the industry know what's going on in the market, know what the companies are asking for, look and see what the job titles are, look at what the job descriptions are out there and see if you can fit into some of those. So when I look at the landscape, what I'm seeing is product owner, um, scrum master, UX designer, product designer, um, and then there's some other fringe roles that kind of have their own responsibilities defined already but some of what they're doing is dependent or encroaching on what we do such as the business analytics and business um sorry data analysis so data analysis and business analytics is coming up um but the one that i think is the biggest threat to what we do meaning that they can really do exactly what we do and have a completely different name is product owner so a lot of people who work in product, this is product is different from project in that for the product, you're managing the entire life of the product. It doesn't have an end date. So you're managing the product, you make sure the product is updated, you make sure it has all the features, you're making sure it, you know, it delights the customers, you're making sure it's maintained and growing and all that stuff. That's product management. Project management, it has a start, it has an end. So you're working towards the launch date of that project, right? So there's two different perspectives and there might be two different roles that are um, competing for the business analyst role. I will say for the project management, the business analyst role is a little bit more um, stable, meaning that there's not much competition in terms of role. 
for the business analyst, right? They're on the project, they're doing these tasks, and they're helping get the project to launch. For the product, however, that's where it becomes more challenging or that's where there's more, I would say, kind of risk to make sure that you are updating yourself and keeping up with what's going on in product management. So I found that the product owner role has really redefined itself to become a lot like what we do. So the product owner really is the person who has made sure they're, they're the one that's accountable for the product, right? They make sure that whatever gets into the product needs to be in there. They have the final say as to what gets, goes in. I mean, final, quote unquote. I mean, they're the point person. That doesn't mean that they decide everything, right? So the business analyst role or the product owner role is really becoming, it's converging, right? It's really becoming muddy as to what, where one ends and where the other one begins because the product owner is also in the stand-up in many companies. They're the ones writing user stories in many companies. They're the ones, you know, talking to the staff and the clients and getting all this stuff done. So it's a lot of what we do. And when you look at the job descriptions, like if you go on one of those job sites, if you type in product owner and you look at the roles and responsibility, it's like what we do. It's exactly what we do most of the time. So I would say that we should, as business analysts, we should be ready to evolve into that role. We should, because we're doing it already. <laughs> we already know it. We're actually doing it. Um, but we need to make sure our career path is aligning with where the industry, where the career is going. And I think it's really, from a product management perspective, is going into product ownership. And so I think that should be a, a career path, to move from business analysts here into product owner eventually into director for the product and then eventually into the VP. That's where you want to go. That's your trajectory. That's how you want to move up. That's your next level. Okay. So that's what I think you should be looking at. And I'm going to jump right into Indeed or one of these other tools and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's do it. So I just jumped into Indeed and I'm going to jump into LinkedIn in a minute just to get a feel of what people are asking for out there. And I'm going to type in product owner. And then I'm going to see if the job description for the product owner is really what we do already as business analysts. Let's look at this one. It says product owner. This is Bridgevine Inc. And it's Atlanta because I live in Atlanta. So let's see what they're asking the product owner to do at this company. Take full responsibility for managing your product from prioritization to delivery and beyond. Create and maintain the product backlog and roadmap for your product, ensuring that your roadmap stays aligned with business goals. Develop high level user stories for new features and maintenance. Hmm, does that sound like what we do? Create user stories? Have backlog prepared and prepped? Hmm. Ensure that the product backlog is constantly prioritized. Yep. And this is a little bit of the scrum too. It's not just the BA that it's encroaching on. It's kind of converging BA and product owner as we traditionally knew it to be and um, the scrum master as well. Demonstrate complete product functionality to the internal partners at the completion of the sprint. So demoing the functionality is usually a QA activity. So here we go again, we're jumping into QA stuff. Develop a deep understanding of Bridgevine's data technologies, products, and platforms. Build strong working relationships with customers and internal teams. Act as a liaison to customers to achieve a desired business result. That's exactly what business analysts do. We are the bridge. We act as the liaison. But look, they're calling this role product owner. See what I mean? Let's look at another one. Um, let's see if I can find like a big company here. Um, Here's Delta. Okay, let's see what Delta says. Product owner, single view of the customer. Okay. It, does, it doesn't have bullet points. It's hard to know where it starts. This position will oversee one of the program's product teams, um, each having a unique role in delivering 360 degree view of every Delta customer as a main point of contact between business stakeholders and the product delivery team. The product owner will translate the product's business vision into executable packages of work. 
the product owner will roll up to the program's business sponsor. So this is more, less of a technical role, but more of a business focused role. But it's kind of what we do too, as business analysts, because we are the ones who's making sure that we understand the client's needs and can, can translate that into whatever the program or project that we're, we're working on to get um, the best benefit for the client. So that is definitely what we do. Let's look some more at what else is out here. Okay, let's look at what Verizon says product owner is. Let's look at Verizon. So working with a cross-functional team, including software developers, UX, UI designers, researchers, and other SMEs to ensure that solution accurately solves for the problem the team has set out to solve. That's a very wordy sentence, but basically you're, you're cross-functional. You are the liaison, which is exactly what we do. Gaining a deep understanding of customer problems and pain points, yup. Creating customer journey flow diagrams, empathy maps, process flow diagrams, etc., to aid the cross-functional team to understanding the problem they're tasked to solve. You see what's happening here? The product owner is the one designing the flows. That's a traditional business analyst role. That's what we do. So I mean, effectively and timely communicate to stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Handling critical, complex, and technically challenging projects on both SaaS and IoT platforms. Understanding the end-to-end -end customer life cycle to provide subject matter expertise. Maintaining a product backlog and Kanban board. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. That's exactly what we do. We keep the backlog groomed and prioritized and you make sure the stories are there. Measuring cycle time throughout the other agile metrics, throughput, sorry, and other agile metrics. Effective management of issues, risk, including escalation when needed. Facilitate demos to solicit feedback from stakeholders and internal team members. So facilitating the demo is different from doing the demo. So we, as a BA, we facilitate because we're a part of the demo, making sure that they're demoing and what they have built actually matches what we wrote in our requirements. So this is, again, more of what BA does. Validating projects for scalability and reuse in order to maximize the benefit of business investments in IT. Presenting to all levels within the company, including executives, business managers, technical teams, and business partners external to the company. So presentation skills, which I have a video on that, by the way. So here it is that Verizon is calling what we do product owner. You know what I mean? So most of this, every business analyst worth their salt is already doing. And again, proving the point that you just need to naturally evolve into product ownership. Um, see if there's any other big company here. Let's see. And I'm picking big companies because I want to see if, you know, they're usually the movers and shakers in the industries. And what they're calling a role is what everybody else is going to follow. Let's look at product owner career, I guess. This is Equifax. Let's see what they say. Who is Equifax? Okay. Discovers, develops, and evaluates new product ideas, enhancements to existing products or strategic product product extensions, translates research discoveries into usable and marketable products, leads, plans, and tracks all phases of the product life cycle from inception to introduction into the marketplace. This is more of a traditional product owner role, which is not necessarily the same as what business analysts do. So it's more of a leadership role as opposed to a tactical role. You know what I mean? Takes a leadership role to ensure that initiatives are well executed and met. Um, and so on. So it's more like the project manager equivalent on the product side. So this is this is good. This is this is actually what the product owner used to be doing. Um, so it's good that there's somebody out there still still having them do that. Let's jump over to LinkedIn and I'm going to type, I think I already typed it in product owner here. Um, and I'm gonna look for jobs. So here's a product owner job. At Cisco, let's see what they say. So you can build collaborative relationships and operating models with product managers to deliver on the organization's product vision and strategy. You have experience analyzing and breaking down business problems into deliverable increments that align with the vision and strategy. You can work with one or more team to, de 
to deliver timely quality releases that provide high business value and exceed customer expectations. You have strong experience with agile principles and can drive our engineering and process improvement efforts utilizing agile slash lean processes. You are experienced in facilitating and breaking down problems in cases where the requirements gathering becomes complex. You have experience partnering with the internal and external stakeholders to define and execute comprehensive plans for customer feedback alpha, beta, etc. You have developed prioritized product backlog by writing user stories and defining priorities for the development team. You validate value and outcomes for your customers. You work with your team to understand the mission and believe that deep team ownership results in better success. You appreciate the feedback from your team members and factor that into the backlog to get the best outcomes for our customers. You possess an inner level of confidence that allows you to lead some days and follow others based on what is needed for the desired outcomes. You are the active learner in the journey and with no set destination. So basically you are a business analyst, <laughs> right? And this is Cisco. So just another stake in the ground that this is where your career is converging. That's the word, that, that's the buzzword now, product owner. So you're looking for a job, you are a business analyst, you have business analysis experience, look for business analysts, but also you can look for product owner as well because you have similar skills and you can easily, easily translate into the product owner role and it's a higher paying role in most places. I mean, so again, this is, this is what's happening. We gotta keep up with it. We gotta be fluid. We gotta learn, we gotta grow, we gotta, we gotta build. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. I wanted to bring your attention to the different careers that are in our space and just to encourage you to keep thinking next level. It's okay if you just started in a new PA job that you want to learn, you want to understand, you want to you know, get your foot grounded in the career. That's great. And you have to get that grounding first, but always be thinking, okay, once I get this, step done, what's the next thing I want to do? How am I going to grow? How am I going to get better? How am I going to get bigger? What's the next level for me? So I really want to encourage you. And for those of you who have already been working as a BA for a long time, you know, you should really still be thinking about that. Like what's my next step, right? That's, that's what I want you to really think about. And I thought I brought that out in this video. So please like and subscribe and uh, I'll leave a comment and I will definitely respond. Now, I want to do something special at the end of this video. I want to celebrate all the people who sent me messages or sent me emails that they have gotten a job from watching my video. Like they watched the video, they rehearsed, they learned some things and they went into their interview confident and got the job. Look, I want to celebrate you. I've already got my glasses up. I want to celebrate you. I think you've been great and i'm happy that i was able to help you and for the other people that are coming watching the video and if you get a job too please send me a comment send me a message send me something because i want to celebrate i want a reason to celebrate right i am so happy for you guys and i want to continue to encourage you to learn more to grow more in the business analyst space and to think about your next level cheers see you next time <laughs>